Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to master Mobax term as our all-in-one remote solution. And we can discover installation and multiple SSH connections and more. Okay. And this is the logo for the Mobax term. And Mobex term, it's a powerful remote computing toolkit for Windows operating system. Either you can run on client OS or server OS. It combines numerous network tools into the one efficient package and designed for system administrators, developers, and IT professionals. And what is the benefits of Mobex term is enhanced remote server management. And generally, we are if you want to connect to your, any of the SSH sessions remotely, we can use Putty's Putty tool using Putty or Putty. Using Putty or Putty, we can connect to the multiple Linux servers and also the ESX servers. But we have to open individual windows. But if you want to maintain in a tabbed manner multiple SSH session, this Mobex term will be useful. So in other words, enhanced remote server management you can access multiple esx you can access multiple linux server even if your server is a ec2 instances it is running in the public cloud aws also you can access from our local laptop and using mobex term you can connect and streamlined file transfer and synchronization normally if you want to transfer any iso files from our local laptop to ESX host, we can use winscp tool windows server secure copy windows secure copy Similar to Windows Secure Copy, using Mobex term, we also transfer the files from our local system. Either it is a client OS or server OS, you can transfer the files from Windows to Linux system. It can Linux system means it can be a hypervisor server, either SUSE KVM, VMware, VMware ESXi hypervisor, or any of the other Linux servers. This feature is applicable and simplified across to Linux applications on Windows and increased efficiency for IT professionals and developers, improved security through encrypted connections. Okay. Now, another key point is how to get started with Mobex term. So first of all, we have to download the Mobex term from the internet and install. So we'll do the First option now, once the installation is completed, we can configure the connections to remote servers. And finally, we can explore the tools features for customization options. So these three, we can test it in our lab. So let me log into our lab system. So within our lab system, let's say if you want to download, open a browser and Google, you can just type Mobextom download. When you type Mobex term download, the first link is the official link. When you select the Mobex term download, under download tab, you can see two options, home edition and also the professional edition. Home edition means it's a free and let's download the free edition. So we have a two options, portable edition and installer. Portable also you can use or installer, anyone is fine. So let's say I'm using a installer edition. Okay, so download is in progress. Okay, download is in progress now. In the meantime, if you see the features earlier, under the free, you can see it's a full X server and SSH support, remote desktop to RDP connection, VNC viewer and X DMCP download is completed. And remote terminal to SSH session, Telnet and all these features are available. Automatic SFTP browser, master password protection, plugin support and all. One key point here is maximum 12 sessions only we can connect using home edition because it's a free software. If you are upgraded to the license edition, which is professional edition and uh, this professional edition, we have uh, some additional features and also every 12 months, that means approximately one year, they will give the latest updates as well. Okay. If you are really needy a professional, you can go with this option. And uh, for, uh, in our lab, I'm just testing the home edition. So download is completed. Let me open that folder file and it is the zip folder. Let me extract and we have a direct installer file, Windows installer file, right click and install. So installation is pretty straightforward. You can just follow the on-screen instructions. So welcome to the Mobextum setup widget. Click on next, accept the license agreement. 
next and default location is c drive program files if you want to change it to the other folder you can click on change and then click on next and ready to install mobax term so now click on install see installation is finished and the next option is we are going to configure connection to the remote servers suppose if you see in our desktop the mobax term icon is already shortcut icon created after installation so launch this mobex term now see preparing the first time startup currently version is 23.2 so once we launch this wizard currently there are no connections even if you go to the servers tab there are no servers and you can use the servers all this type of servers you can connect via tftp ftp http ssh so with interest of our time i am just showing you the ssh in this tab similarly you can explore for your other options okay so to create the initial connection go to the session option select the session select the ssh let's say within our lab we have a multiple esx let's say we have esx 1 2 3 3 esx we have and let me try the 3 esx ip addresses let's say if the first esx is 192.168.10.81 is our esx 1 ip address but currently there is no username we can just click on the user icon and create a password for this let's say the password is esxi root this is the name i am just giving and the actual username is root and the password you can enter for the esxi password or esxi root password and it is asking for a master password this will be helpful to secure to store all our passwords so enter a another password for a master one okay now click on okay sorry the new master password fields do not match okay sorry for the typo now click on okay maybe let me retype the above one okay password is added now click on okay so how we can choose is select this option specify username under the drop down menu you can see esxi root when we select the esxi root click on okay see secure shell connection will be established see we have to accept so it will connect to the esxi first server if it is not connecting means the only difference is we have to verify our esx level we have a connect connection ssh connection is enable or not go to the agent services the specific esxi host services should be in the started state under services let me select the ssh session see ssh currently in the running state now let me check the password is maybe the typo in the password i'm just testing from the direct ssh here let's say login as root okay so that means something typo here let me correct it select the 81 and go to the edit session and select the password we'll just modify now click on okay click on okay so let me reconnect close the connection and reopen again execute okay now it is open you can increase the font also so just select the control and uh, use the mouse cursor if we can increase the font okay and you can test the commands here so press double tab all the esx commands we can access from here and even in the left side you can see all the esx host folders
So same way, again, go to the server tab. If you want to see add any of the other connection, just go to the sessions tab and right click here. You can create a new session also. Let me select for a ESX site 2. So for ESX site 2 IP address 192.168.10.82 and the this time the password is same password. Let me drop down, select the ESX root password, click on OK and click on accept. Now, if you see here, we have first tab is ESX1. Let me clear the screen. If you see here, ESX1 is the first tab and the second tab is ESX2. And same way we can connect for a ESX3 as well. So user session, create new session, select the SSH and you can enter the IP address. And the password is same password. So click on OK. So we connected to ESX3 as well. And similarly, you can connect to the vCenter also. Same procedure, new connection, SSH. Only thing is we can just give the IP address. 192.168.10.80 is our vCenter IP address. And the password currently in our lab, I'm maintaining the same password. So just choose the same one. See, if it is not connecting, maybe the SSH session is not enabled in our vCenter level. 5480, connect to the vCenter console via WAMI portal. Just enable the SSH. So I connected to the vCenter server to enable SSH session. So go to the access and select the SSH is currently deactivated. Select this option, enable SSH. Activate SSH login. Once we SSH is activated, come to the Mobex term again and just reconnect. Close the connection and similarly 81 just execute. Now it's able to connect. Okay, when you type shell, we can able to access the VC01. So currently we are simultaneously we are accessing four tabs ESX1, ESX2, ESX3, and also the vCenter server 01. And similarly, even if you in if you are in our vCenter server, we also have a Linux VMs. Let's say send to OS VM. If you want to connect to the send to OS VM, one is 11 IP, another one is 12 IP. The same procedure. So same procedure, select the user connection, new connection, SSH, and enter the IP address, 192.168.10.11, and the password. If you have different password, just create a new password, okay? So see if you see here, we connected to sent OS VM as well, okay? Similarly, even to connect to the another one also, same procedure. Just connect SSH, another VM, 192.168.10.12 and choose the relevant password, click on OK. And increase the font, you can see VM02. If you see here, within a one Mobex term session, we are multiply remote servers, we connected how many? One, three SX, one vCenter and two Linux servers. Okay, totally six connections are connected. And as per the website, what they are saying is for free, it will connect until the 12 sessions. We tested six sessions here. Okay, and even if you want to upload the any files and folders, for example, just now we downloaded a Mobex term file. If you want to upload it to any of the location, let's say this Linux file, if you want to upload, if you want to upload this file, what we can do is, just select this folder. Let's say I connected to the Linux machine. And if you want to upload in the left side, you can, there is an option to upload to current folder. Just select this one. For testing purpose, I'm uploading a Mobex term zip file. Select the zip file, click on open. When you click on open, in the right side, you can see the upload option is in progress. It's completed. Upload is already done. If you want to see here, just type LS. You can see Mobex term is uploaded. Okay, so now the same point only we highlighted in the in our slide also. We can use for a file upload also, same like Windows Secure Copy. Okay, so let's back to the slide again.
If you see here, we downloaded, we installed Mobex term, and we configure the connections to remote six servers, three ESX, one vCenter, two Linux VMs. Similarly, we can also configure RDP, SFTP connections as well, and explore the tool features and customization options. For customization options, so far we tested the SSH connection with the common password, and also we tested for a file upload option. And also we validated from the guest OS as well. And even in the, if you see from the website, they are also given as some additional features. If you go to the features tab, you can see there are some additional features within the Mobex tab. So when you get spare time, you can just explore these options. Okay. And also you can download option also based on the requirement you can download. Currently we use the free edition only. Okay. Even in the home tab, you can see some additional feature information. Okay. So you, the main key features are network toolbox, X server, network and security and professional edition okay so hope you understand the benefit of mobex term and how we can get started with the mobex term okay so that's it for today hope you understand the usage of mobex term thank you if you're watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the ignant cloud garage channel if you're already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now